When is EOS launching? I'm over here on EOSCountdown.com. It's been one day, 16 hours, and 37 minutes since EOS tokens have been frozen on the Ethereum networks in preparation and anticipation for the EOS mainnet launch. Now, currently, the EOS mainnet launch is in process, and today we'll be talking about the order of events needed to launch this main net sooner than later potential eos wallets potential ways to vote for block producers and some of the edits made this weekend to the eos constitution it's the voice of the blockchain here satoshi's big cousin cryptography's finest champagne crypto thanks for tuning in big shout out to all the crypto maniac boomers who continue to kaboom the like and kaboom the subscribe button guys if you haven't already and you're just a baby bear cub entering the blockchain battlefield just a little crypto kitty out there learning the ropes welcome it's champagne crypto the general leading all the boomers to victory make sure you're kabooming the like and kabooming the subscribe button right now become a boomer and stay tuned in to the good crypto word that we spread here daily guys getting straight to it the EOS mainnet launch is currently in process, the most highly anticipated launch in crypto history, in my opinion. What are the steps needed to get this thing off the ground and running sooner than later out there? The crypto maniacs are in waiting in anticipation. I have this article linked down below from medium.com posted by EOS New York, some block producer candidates out of New York. They have this article titled EOS Mainnet Launch, The Order of Events. I found this article very informative and uh, it clearly defines the steps needed to launch this blockchain. You can see that the tokens have already been frozen. Okay, Some of the phases of launch include verifying the snapshot and booting up, testing, enabling, and then releasing a joint st statement from the block producer community that it is safe to import your private keys and vote. And that is when the voting will begin. After that, the network should be activated and they can declare it the EOS main net. Okay, guys, you could read more about the phases in detail. One thing that I found very interesting is that the uh, block producers that are establishing the network right now are temporary and only exist to ensure that the network is booted correctly and stable throughout the verification and voting process. They are not receiving rewards and uh, and the rewards are not awarded at this time. They're basically testing. So once that main net launches, will uh, the EOS token community will be able to vote for their favorite block producers. Now let's talk about voting and some of the wallets that have, uh, came up on my radar. Let's start with this uh, the service, scatter-eos.com. Now scatter is going to be a sort of a, a, a wallet. It's, it's comparable to MetaMask if you haven't uh, use MetaMask before, but basically what it is is a Chrome extension that allows you to log in to the EOS blockchain and secures your private keys. I haven't used this yet. I'm still learning about it, so make sure you do your research out there, guys. Secure your own bag and uh, be responsible for your own actions. You know the deal, guys. But Scatter is looking like it's going to be uh, one of the leading ways to uh, access the blockchain. And if I'm not mistaken, it will also allow you, uh, it'll be a portal, I guess, of, of sorts to allow you to vote. Okay. You could uh, find out more at scatter-eos.com. Uh, you could check out uh, this video here uh, by the Scatter developers and read more. And uh, you could see a couple snapshots or a snapshot here of the uh, user interface. Uh, basically, you could set up an identity and then uh, pair up keys to that identity. And uh, it's up to you as how much do you want to reveal to the EOS websites that you will be logging into. So this scatter is comparable to MetaMask. If you haven't used MetaMask or uh, know about MetaMask, do your research on MetaMask to have some sort of a comparable as to what scatter could be. Now, again, I don't know if scatter is legit or not, but it's came up on my radar enough for me to talk about it. I haven't used it. And uh, me personally, I'm waiting to see, you know, until they declare what, what net is the official net. And, uh, you know, that they declare it to be safe before I input my private keys into anything. So, you know, tread lightly out there. Uh, you can also check out the scattered demos at uh, demos.scatters-eos.com. Uh, you can create a new account and generate a new EOS, EOS account. Just read about it and learn more about it, guys. And definitely watch the video on that website. Uh, and then you can check out EOS Portal. Io. Uh, this will be aggregating uh, the live chains. Uh, once start, chains start to boot and add themselves here, you'll be able to view their stats and vote on them. 
So you could also vote directly through here. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, you could log in through uh, into US EOS portal using the scatter extension, Chrome extension. OK, if I'm not mistaken, if you guys know more, uh, go ahead and drop the comment below. Educate Champagne and the rest of the boomers out there. I'm learning in real time as I go. So everything that I'm describing may not be 100. OK, guys, make sure you take your own response. Be responsible for your own movements and uh, do your own due diligence. Uh, headed on to uh, the governance, uh, the governance, the block producer candidates out there, they've come to a green, uh, agreement, uh, perhaps, uh, onto the amendments of the Constitution or to the edits of the Constitution that were made this weekend. You could read the current updated Constitution that I have linked down below. It's at github.com, and you can read all the articles. Uh, in my, uh, un my understanding is, is this is the latest update. OK, this is the latest update in my understanding, and uh, there was updated just yesterday. OK, so you could read through the articles, starting with article number one. There is a total of uh, 20 articles. OK, and um, you could read exactly some of the edits they made. Here is the no initiation of violence. They changed the wording to say lawful prosecution of crimes with the goal of preserving life, liberty and property does not constitute the initiation of violence. Now, we had a debate and question some of the edits made here to the Constitution. We also questioned the final arbitrators being the International Chamber of Commerce uh, that stayed in. Um, I think that is a uh, dispute resolution or where is that? That is this uh, article number uh, nine. All disputes arising out or in connection of this constitution shall be finally settled under the rules of arbitration of the International Chamber of Com Commerce by one or more arbitrators appointed in accordance with the said rules. Now, I question uh, who these characters were, and somebody did respond to me with some logic behind why they were chosen. I'll have the video linked down below so that you could go ahead and educate yourself some more. OK, guys. And then finally, uh, I invite you guys to go ahead and check out this channel, EOS Go. Let me go ahead and tip my hat to the gentlemen, uh, Kevin and Blue Jays, the two gentlemen that are running this channel. They are not running for block producers. They're just basically interviewing everybody or just about everybody that has to do with a block producer uh, or uh, developers or whatnot. And you can see they're literally live right now. They've been doing launch parties every day. So uh, I, I find this the most informative uh, YouTube channel when it has to do uh, with EOS and the EOS community. Okay, guys. And I also invite you guys to, for, for you to go ahead and check out the EOSAmericas.com. This is also another dashboard that is uh, tracking leading EOS public testnet. So this is another uh, website similar to EOSPortal.io where you can track the test nets and vote on them. Okay, guys. Uh, champagne, me personally, what I'm doing is nothing. I'm just educating myself. I'm learning. I'm finding out what's the boomers and I'm trying to find identify the doomers so that I can remove them. Okay. Only look at the boomers out here. If it's a doomer, throw them out the window and focus on the boomers. What I'm doing now is simply research. Okay. I'm not inputting none of my private keys. I'm not using anything. I'm not voting for anyone just yet. I'm going to wait till they signal that everything is a okay and it's safe to log into uh, using Scatter or maybe another wallet. I mean, for all I know, Scatter may or may not be uh, legit. You know, so far so good. It's it's had uh, you know positive feedback. So you know, I want to see other people using it before I use it. Okay, guys, and I recommend uh, you guys do the same thing. Now, again, I am not an investment advisor. Okay, I'm not a crypto professional. I'm not working with EOS. And Champagne is not your father. You know the deal. Be responsible. Assume responsibility. Do your own research and secure your own bag out there. Uh, spread love. It's the crypto way, guys. So that's what it is, guys. Uh, EOS Countdown, uh, the main net should launch sooner than later. They need to go through these steps as far as verifying the snapshot, testing out the network, enabling the network so people can vote, and then finally activating the network once people have vote once 15% of the tokens are staked. Okay. In order to vote, you need to stake your tokens. Now there's crypto maniac boomers out there that are speculating that once the voting starts happening, it will cause, uh, the circulating supply to, uh, well, it'll, it'll cause some token. Let, it, let me, <laughs> it will cause the circulating supply to go down because some of these tokens will be staked and out of the circulating supply. I hope that I 
explain that clearly out there, crypto maniacs. But anyhow, drop a comment below. Let me know what's shaking and baking. I have plenty of videos out there as far as uh, what are some of the more popular block producer candidates and um, some of the ideas behind the EOS Constitution and more. Guys, go ahead and check out my videos. Check out EOS Go. I find them the most informative YouTube channel. They also have a forum, if I'm not mistaken. It's a forums.eos. I'll have it linked down below where you can go ahead and, and search through the uh, community forums out there. I find it uh, very helpful. Okay, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what's shaking and baking. Uh, what have you heard out, uh, about the main launch out there? If, if I haven't covered it, please let me know. Uh, what are some other wallets out there other than Scatter? Do you know any other wallets out there? And uh, what are other ways to vote besides using Scatter with Portal or uh, this other website here? Um, I'm not sure if you could use this website to vote, but uh, this is definitely tracking the public testnet. Again, I'm not doing anything right now, okay? I'm just watching. I'm watching silently like a hawk here in the foxholes and ready to claim what's uh, ours here. Uh, stake our flag down on the ground and start waving the EOS uh, victory flags out there, cryptomaniac boomers. Let me know what's shaking and baking. Champagne is excited. Uh, again, you know, the community, they, they've been kind of split here as to uh, whether this thing is going to work or not. Uh, as far as EOS, a lot of people are not believers in EOS. Uh, there are definitely uh, non-believers out there. And then you got your believers and only time will tell. Uh, right now, the token price is at 1357. It's down a little bit. Uh, down, uh, you know, almost 10% in the past 24 hours. Uh, but we did see a spike as soon as the EOS tokens were frozen or just about at that same time, the price went up to about $15. So let's see what's going on out there, guys. Check out all the videos that I have below. They talk about EOS dApps, EOS airdrops, the ideas behind the constitution, uh, and more. Okay, guys, it's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, champion crypto. Thanks for tuning in.